we present the preliminaries or the basis for the teaching of iconography. When many beginners approach this ancient art, they have difficulty with the use of the brush and with the materials used. Another important shadow line is this one that accompanies the nose in a shadow zone. Another is this little pit under the nose, the upper lip. I draw another segment. Now the two are divided into four parts, which are different, as we can see. Area 1, Area 2, Area 3, and Area 4. In this segment, which is at least twice as long as the previous one, we also mark zones 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now I begin to color the shape with pencil number 11 and pass over the area identified as the area of the shape. Lifting the sheet, I can verify that here, in the central zone, I have not passed the curls. So, I paste it again and do them. I was missing this very important curl in the center, and as I said, it is important to do this type of control from time to time. At this point, we are ready. And I have a piece of absorbent cloth handy on which I can download the brush and they dry it. The key secret is to have the brush highly charged. Right now it is full, up to here. Then, Dry the tip by turning it so that the brush can maintain the perfect tip and have its full color storage capacity. The second part of the script, very valuable, is done with Indian ink. We use the one from the Pelican House number 15 and sepia color. Indian ink gives the brush greater elasticity. So to make the design, we do we do not use black pigment with emulsion, but India ink. It may happen that at the end we are missing a line that hasn't been passed, like this one, for example, and that we do now. To prepare the emulsion, I buy a series of eggs, organic if possible, and with a not very yellow yolk. I put it inside. In the strainer, we will see the residues that have remained. The green earth completes the cycle of natural earths, yellow ochre and red earth. Color that, along with yellow ochre, is one of the most important in the palette, as it offers an infinite number of nuances. I prefer the green land of Nicosia from Cyprus, available at Dalmolin. The Dalmolin markets is ready for use. We have reached the Olympus of colors, and we will talk about azurite. Azurite is the same as malachite. It comes from copper. The other brush for the writing is a sable brush from the Raphael House, number 0 and series 8408. We we'll compare it to a Ferrari brown car. Regarding the plaster, as I said, these plasters are ready for use. Although for the gilding in the Armenian bowl, they still have to be sanded. But at the moment, no beginner is in a position to apply the bowl, so we can apply a yellow background or simply the mixture to water or oil for browning. Therefore, this plaster is more than sufficient from the point of view of sanding.
we talk about the materials that the beginner who approaches iconography should have. Often, these are materials that sometimes it is not necessary to buy because we have them at home and they can be useful to us. The first would be the square and the rule. It is convenient to have several so that it adheres. Here we see that I have not waited long enough and the queue has pierced the gold. So I will have an unbalanced. I show this so that we pay attention and say that at the beginning, when the brush was too impregnated, Let's talk now about the easel. Many beginners use the tabletop easel a lot. In my opinion, and I always insist on Nikon courses, it is a good idea to start off on the right foot and acquire a small table easel for your use. As we finish this first introductory course, for beginners.